Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank all of you for coming at this virtual event today. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Ratri Wulandari. I came from Diponegoro University, Department Science and Mathematics, Semarang. Ladies and gentlemen, it is very great pleasure for me in this precious change to present about my research with the title is Fuzzy Time Series Forecasting to Factor Cross Association Based on Frequency Density Partition. Forecasting is a method of reduction uncertainty about the future. And then the basic of the time series fuzzy forecasting by Song and Ji Song consists of four basic steps. The first step is define the actual range of time series value in the interval, then define the fuzzy set of this interval. And then the second step, build the time series fuzzy from each data using the intervals in the previous step. And step number three is to build the fuzzy logic relation or we call it Avalar. And the fourth step is to make prediction using the fuzzification. The development of forecasting is also carried out by S. Kumar et al. by adding the time series factor into two factors, or we call it multi-factor. Predictions is made to forecast the main factor by taking the influence of the second factor. Forecasting problem using multiple factor or um, multi-factor still use the relation defined by Chen. And this year, Lee et al. sparked a new relation definition called cross relation. And in this paper, we use it to modify the definition of Chen. Uh, as we can see at the screen, the definition one and two, suppose that ft and gt from the t like we see at the screen, there are part two fuzzy time series. And definition two, suppose that the forecast to forecasting the moment t from the main factor is f and the second factor is g, then from this method, we find the two kind of LR. Uh, LR number one is SA FLR. FLR number two is SCA FLR, as we can see at the definition number two. And the flow chart of short cross association forecasting, as we can see at this screen, we started with the time series data and then we defined the universe and the next step is divide uh, the universe into interval and then we redivide the interval into sub intervals and uh, from the sub intervals we built a fuzzy number it is research we use triangle fuzzy number and the next step is determine the avalar. Uh, we use two kind of avalar, as a avalar and as a avalar, or we call it sort cross avalar. And then final prediction. Uh, we know the forecast value and or the diversification. And then we need to find out the error. And that's all. After that, the simulation, the data used in this study relates to production palm oil extract from the site bps.co.id. In the form of palm oil production data in tons and the largest palm oil plantation area 
second hectare from 2000 to 2019. Next, step number one, define the discussion universe or universe of discourse from each factor. It means that we define the universe discourse from the main factor and from the second factor too. Using the following this definition. Then step number two is uh, divide the universe into interval. And then we redivide interval into sub interval with the algorithm 2.3, like we can see at the screen. The first most dense frequency uh, we divide it into four interval, and second most dense frequency divide into three sub interval, and the third most dense frequency divide into two sub interval, and frequency density other than above. Uh, we doesn't change it or its pace. And that's the table. Table number one is result of divided subinterval from second factor. And table number two is result divided subinterval from main factor. The step number four is to construct a fuzzy time series for each factor. Like I say before, uh, for each factor means that the main factor and the second factor. From the triangular membership function can be made from the interval like we see at the screen. And step, step number five is define a fuzzy set group for each factor with two kind LR. There is as the a LR, like we can see at this screen, suppose that observation and the supporting factor when fuzzy by A is the number of available as the FLR found it. And then um, FLR number two is as I LR available at R. Uh, then step number six is forecasting using the following definition. Forecasting from the SI LR result result of result value of the SI LR as we can see at the screen that um, then it the forecast from the SJLR available at R we can see at the screen too this is the value or the, the result so number seven is final prediction or the classification from two kind LR. Now we find now we find out the uh, final result, and that's the comparison forecast result between actual value and forecast value. And table number three is falsified historical data. Um, conclusion of this result. From the research conducted, it is known that the average value is 0.825%. According to the average criteria table, we found that uh, the average less than 10%, it can be concluded that the forecast has a very good criteria. So that's all my presentation. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.
See you.